You guys can see all the stuff that came with the pre-order. So we got the West Wheeled Theriker mount. We got a um, Pet Mastiff. We got a new Memento. Um, we got a Make Cheese emote, Stop Grapes emote, um, a Sommelier Swirl emote, and a Skingrad ben Vendetta outfit. That's uh, not Vendetta. I don't know what that is. Um, but I do like the outfit. I haven't looked at the whole thing. I like. I checked the helmet and I like it. So I want to show you guys that stuff real quick. Welcome back to the Chaos. I am Chaos Eclipse. Today we're going to be looking at the new DLC that just came out, The Gold Road. Um, but before we do that, I just want to go over a couple things. So if you're here for that, it's going to be a little bit later in the video. Feel free to kind of fast forward through. If I remember, because I'm really bad with memory, I will try to put a, at least a timestamp in there when I start going over the Gold Road stuff. Uh, this video might be a little bit long. I don't know how long. Um, but I just wanted to go over something I've been doing with the three the three main characters I have. I deleted all my other characters. Um, this is the main one that I've been playing. This is my current Master Crafter that has just about everything unlocked. And then this one is just an extra one that I was initially leveling as a healer. Um, I'll go over leveling in an entirely different video. Um, but I probably got about 300 champion points with him just doing what I was doing. Um, took only a couple days, but it's really exhausting and I ended up stopped doing it because that's what got me out of the game because it was just the same thing over and over. Uh, so these two are night blades. This one is a necromancer. I'm going to log on the necromancer and I'm going to show you guys what I have been doing. So these two, I have already done the daily writs or sorry, not daily writs. Yeah, daily writs. I've already done the daily writs with these two. And then this one, um, I'm going to jump on now and do with him. But, uh, the reason why I'm doing it this way is because I want to show you guys what I've been doing. So with this character, he's not maxed out in his um, in his crafting. He's still level one in a lot of it, but I also don't have any skill points with him. Eventually, I'll go back and I'll probably unlock some skill points with him. Um, probably just through sky shard hunting. That way, I don't have to actually do a whole bunch of other stuff. As you can see, I'm gonna get um, a few. Well, actually, I guess it was just that one. There's uh, there's been um, an update to the achievements. It looks like when you look at the achievements on your character. Nope, on your journal. Uh, achievements. Um, I did get a couple of these. Um, that one, yeah, you can see that one's from Chaos Reigns. That one is from the main uh, Chaos Rabies, and that one's from Chaos Rabies. Um, so it basically gave me new um, achievements because I guess they came out with the uh, with the update, the Gold Road update. Um, so I guess it just has to do with that. Um, but, so if we take a look at this guy, like I said, he's not maxed out in a lot of stuff. Um, mainly his crafting is what I'm referring to. So, alchemy is only seven. You can see it's only one of eight for the, uh, solvent proficiency. Most of them are going to be one of ten, one of eight, one of nine, whatever they are. This one's two of ten, but he's level 23. One of ten, uh, one of ten, one of five, one of six, and one of ten. But... As you can see, they've been I've been leveling them, and he does have um, uh, hireling points in the ones that I'm able to get it in. Um, the reason for that is because when I log on this character, it's just free stuff that I'm getting. So I'll log on, and I will collect all of the stuff with him. Also, with the console now, um, on the Gold Road update, it looks like you only have to hit square. You don't have to go back and actually delete the message. But you can just hit X, and it just takes it, and it automatically deletes the message for me. This last one here, I'll go over with my other character. That's just everything that I've unlocked um, for pre-ordering the Gold Road. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll go over that in a second. So we're going to grab all of the Ritz here for this guy. And we're going to go ahead and craft everything. So come over here, do his enchanting. Which it's all going to be level 1 stuff because like I said, it's only he's only 1 of 10 anyway. So he's going to use the lower level stuff, but we still get gold for doing this, and he's still getting XP for doing this, so that's why we're doing it. And then with him, with the <clears throat> with the other two, um, once you turn them in, you... Sorry. Uh, once you turn them in, you get a whole bunch of uh, extra materials, or you actually get items, uh, things like that. So what I've been doing is after I craft with him and I go turn those in, um, I will open up all of the packages and everything, and then I will um, 
uh, come back and I will do research with him on anything that's extra and I will break anything down extra with him because that's how I've been leveling his um, his crafting. Like I haven't actually been doing anything with him other than the Ritz and then just leveling the stuff. Um, he doesn't have that so let's move that over. And this is just an easy way for an easy 5,000 daily, 5,000 gold daily, because doing the Ritz does give you 5,000 gold. So, and that is per character. And of course, his food stuff here is going to be really easy to make because it's only one thing. And it's all green items. The only bad thing about this is eventually I will I will start to get low on his materials because he's the only one getting these materials. Um, because even with the uh, the daily hirelings that I'm getting with him, um, he's the only one that's giving me level one stuff because the other two are level fifty and everything. So they're getting level fifty um, items and everything even when I break stuff down. So it may get a little hectic but at that point we'll start leveling him when he starts getting low on actual materials and I was thinking about going and making um, all of my characters like filling up the uh, the character uh, sheet basically so that I can have even more people doing the same thing um, because like I said 5,000 daily but 5,000 per character is going to be a lot more than just what we're doing now which is only 15,000 because I'm doing three. Alright, so I think that was all the dailies. Pretty sure. All of the uh, writs. Let's double check here. So, um, here we go. That one's done, 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 and done. Okay. So, once those are done, come out here. We'll go turn them all in. And if you look down in the bottom left, you'll see the experience he's getting and the uh, the gold that he's getting as I turn these in. And there you can see we got 23,000 experience and 5.1 thousand gold. So now at this point, he's the last one that I'm finishing up the Ritz with. So what I would do at this point is I'll come in here. I will open up everything that he has. And we're just going to do take all. I'm just spamming take all as I'm opening them. Um, I'm not going to learn this with him because the other character, I do believe, um, still needs this. Because there's a lot of stuff that my other character doesn't have, so we're just going to leave that for now. I'll show you what I do with the, those type of items. Okay, and then I have a whole bunch of extra stuff in here. I even have a ring that I stole, which I don't know if it'll let me do that. I should let me break it down. But everything on the other characters, how he just got some extra stuff there. The, the, um, the glyphs and stuff like that from opening it. So what I would do is I'll come in here. And I throw everything that I have into the bank, which that's interesting because it's not showing me the other stuff that I put in the bank. Oh, you know what? It's probably still on the other character. That's fine. I'm not worried about it. But normally what I do is I throw it all in the bank so then this guy can come and he can break it down. So I'm breaking down two items. You can see down on the bottom right, I'm level 16 for enchanting. When I break those down, it'll give me a little bit more out of that. There we go. And then I will come and I will do that for every single thing. I did get 50 finally on my other character for jewel crafting. So I can actually break all of this down too. Um, I did it by buying these intricate ones. I actually I actually bought these with gold. So I don't want you guys to think I'm lying to you or anything. I did buy these with gold. Um, but we can take these. We're going to break them all down. I'm not going to break this one down. I bought this one so that I can research it with my other character. So we're going to break down all the intricate ones though. There is roughly 10 of them here, um, and if you look down in the bottom right, we're level 23. We're going to break them all down at once. Nine of them. Look at that. Gave us a level in uh, three quarters, basically. So then we can get out of there. Come over here to the clothing. Same thing. We're going to go to deconstruct. Um, we're only going to break down the ones that are intricate. 
because some of these other items, um, like these here, even though they're not researchable by him, they may be researchable by my other character. Um, so we're not going to break any of those down. We only did the intricate one, so we're going to leave that, but we are going to do research. This one's a little bit tricky. When we do research in here, we have to find one that has at least two items in it. The reason for that is because if I do one with one item, we're also taking away from the other character because he is still researching stuff too. But as you can see right now, we can only do one of one and he's already researching one, so we're going to leave that alone. We're going to come over to the woodworking. We're going to do the same thing here. Deconstruct. Nothing there. There's only one intricate item. Break that down. That should give us level 26. Perfect. Um, research. So, same thing here. It looks like we're still researching. we got five hours left there, but I would do the same thing if I could. Um, so that's going to be it here. We'll do our blacksmithing. Probably also has something still being researched. He does not. So now I can show you guys what I'm talking about. So I'll come in here. Say I decide to do this, right? So what I'll do is I'll come here to infuse. If there was only one of these items, I would not do this because it's taking away from the other character. So if it's something like... No. Like this. That is the only one infused um, headpiece that I had that's heavy. And obviously I have it because I'm using it for the other character. So I don't want to put it on this character. So I want to find one like the one that we were just looking at with either two or one with even more, which like this one has three. So I'll go ahead and I'll research one of these. That leaves two other ones for the other character. And then I'll come in deconstruct, but we're only doing the intricate items so that we can raise its level and we're not doing the rest of the stuff because this is stuff that can still be researched by the other character. And then from there, that is everything that I can research and all that with this character. So from there, what I will do is I will pull out my mobile bank here, pull him out, go in here. We're going to deposit and I've been keeping 5,000 gold on this character. So I'll max it out and then I'll take that away and only put um, the 5,000 whatever and that leaves him with just 5,000. And then anything extra like this recipe or anything we go ahead and throw in there. Um, I could break these down but we're going to go ahead and sell those. So I'll give that to the other character too. And there's another ornate item and we will do the alchemist uh, survey thing too. So all of that is going into the bank. We're going to log off with him. We already collected all his mail, correct? Yes, we did. And we opened everything that we had, right? Yes. Okay, I'm not worried about the ring. We'll sell that eventually. Log off here. And now we can get back on our main character. Right here. And he is over in a uh, Mournhold and Deshaun. So what we'll do now is we'll log in with this one. We will go to a vendor and we're going to sell all of the ordinate items that we have. Um, I don't have to pull them out of the bank because they will sell directly out of the bank. I think that's one of the benefits of ESO Plus, even if they don't tell you that. If it's, it's not, then shift. whatever, but I think it is. Um, so not the ring. None of this stuff. We could technically sell that, but we'll hold on to it. I guess I do have to pull it out of the bank. Yeah, see, these I thought I threw in there, which I could have for my other character to break down, but we still have them, so it's fine. We'll just keep them. Yeah, see, there is some of the stuff that I forgot to throw in there. Um, this is the main reason I forgot to do it, though, because with this character, um, I already did his dailies, but I did not open these because I wanted to... I wanted to show you guys um, that I have been getting the Master Ritz with them, so we're going to open these up and see if we got one. And of course the game's going to make me look like a liar, it's not going to give us one. Perfect, no Ritz. All right, well, um, we have been getting Ritz, though, because if you look, we'll pull out the bank with him, too. Go to the bank here. Go to withdraw. Now, a lot of these were from my previous character. You guys seen them before. 
but you will see here that the list is a lot longer now. Um, all the recipes that I have been getting, even if I know them, I've been throwing in here, but we're going to go through and see if there are any that I don't know. Yep, see? If I would have learned that with the other guy, I wouldn't have been able to learn it with him, so we're going to take that one. The rest of those looks like a no, so we're going to leave those in there. And then... Oh, actually, you know what? Let me start at the top again. Because we're also going to look for the ornate items. So what I'm doing is I'm looking on the left side where the little magnifying glass is. If it's a bag instead, that is going to be um, an ornate item. So we're just going to scroll through here quickly, but one by one, instead of just holding down. Because if I hold down, um, I'm going to miss it. It goes too fast. There's one there, so we'll take that out. There's another one. Take that. Here are all of the writs. Now, like I said, a lot of these were from the other character, but as you can see, the list has gotten bigger because we started doing it with the other character again, and we're also getting writs with this character now. So we have a ton of sealed writs that we can eventually do. Um, a lot of these I probably cannot craft with this character, but I might be able to do it with the other character, so we'll see. Um, I already know that. I already know that. Um, that ring is the one that we're waiting to research. We're still looking for ornate items. There's another one there. And then we will leave all of those in there. Eventually we're going to go through and we're going to empty these out too so that we can get a ton of materials at one time. That will probably take a whole day because of how many we have. Alright, and then... Um, also, we're going to withdraw the money that we put in from the other two characters, the gold. Should have did this first. Gold, and we will just take all. So 10,130, that puts us back to 98,000. And then now we can deposit stuff in here. So I'm going to put any type of companion stuff that's not bound to us just to free up some room because I'm eventually going to sell those and any blueprints that we have that we already know because we're going to eventually sell those too. And then I think I might even have, um, uh, what's it called? Um, can't even think of it. All right, we'll put that in there. So we're going to throw the intricate ones back in there for the next time for the other character. And then we're also going to throw anything that we can research in there. But if it's ones like this that are ordinate, we'll just sell them now with this character for the extra gold. Um, these we can throw in there because we don't need to learn those anymore. We can throw the intricate ones in there. And then we will put any of the treasure maps. Why can't I put that in there? You can only deposit one of that item. You already have one in your bank. Okay, got it. Wait, were those were those to the new area? Where are they at? Where are they at? There we go. Yeah, those are new area. Huh. Alright, well, there's probably... Well, someone might have made videos on those already. We'll just hang on to them for now. I'm not worried about it just yet. Alright, so we got all that. We're going to go over here. We're going to sell all the ordinary He's items real quick. They're usually at the top. So there, there, there. How do I still have this necklace? Did I not throw it in there? I thought I did. Also, I noticed we still have the, um, we still have the, uh, glyphs, too, so we're going to throw those in there as well for the other character, because I don't need them on this one. There we go. And the poison, I usually sell them, but these two I'm holding on to because we've been making them for the Ritz, so four extra ones there, 15 extra ones there, that way if we do have to make those again, then we don't have to worry about, you know, re remaking them, we can just pull them out. Uh, there's that recipe. Okay. So now that we got all that out of the way, let's take a look at our mail here. You guys can see all the stuff that came with the pre-order. So we got the Westwield Theriker Mount. 
We got a um, Pet Mastiff. We got a new Memento. Um, we got a Make Cheese emote, Stop Grapes emote, um, a Sommelier Swirl emote, and a Skin Grad ben Vendetta outfit. Uh, it's not Vendetta. I don't know what that is. Um, but I do like the outfit. I haven't looked at the whole thing. I, li I checked the helmet and I like it. So I want to show you guys that stuff real quick. So let's come in here. We're going to go to Collections. Um, if we go to Upgrade. So there's our new scribing thing that we can do. This is the new outfit. It unlocks um, everything. I don't think we can look at it here. Yeah. Um, appearance. Costumes. What is this? What have we unlock in here? Oh, I think this is just from me uh, fishing lately. I think. Maybe. I don't I don't know. That looks kind of cool, but kind of corny at the same time. It's alright, though. Um, what do we got here? What do we got? Um... Memento, so the new Memento is this one, which kind of hard to see. Let me try turning the character this time. We'll face him away. We'll do use. He pulls out a book, and then he throws like a thing in front of him, but I couldn't really see. Yeah, there we go. So I think it's a griffin. I can't really tell. I did it the other way last time. I can't turn it while it's out. Um, but for those of you that don't know, when you start the scribing, I think the very first... Uh, Grimoire thing that you do is with the griffin, so that's probably what that's about. Um, our new mount is down here in the heavyweights, and it is this one. I don't like it, but I'm sure a lot of you will. Um, it doesn't look too bad, but I don't know, it looks... It, it doesn't look... I don't know, I, I can't explain it. I don't know, like the hair and everything, I don't, I don't like the way it just sits there. But if you look at games like Ark, where it's all like frizzy and stuff, I don't like that either. So I'm not really sure what I like. So don't judge me, guys. All right, we got two new combat pets. We had a flying one, which is this one. It just kind of floats around and turns and stuff like that. And then we also have the Mastiff, which is this one. I like him. I like all dogs, so he's a good boy. Uh, the emotes, we got the Apple Intimidation one, I think. Or no, I might have I might have unlocked this myself. I don't remember. But whatever, we unlocked it, so I'm going to show it to you guys. He just pulls out an apple and dagger, takes a bite, and that's it. Um, next one, this one did come with it. This is Making Cheese. Um, it doesn't actually show him do anything other than keep twisting it. It goes all the way down and then it just ends. We have this one, which is just him getting a drink out of this uh, keg here. And then we have the stomping grapes. I kind of like this one. I don't know why. I think it's funny. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know. It's, just, it's silly, you know? Um, and then armor styles. So, the headpiece... All the way down to the bottom. Well, not the bottom bottom, right here. We can preview that. See, I don't know. I like the way it looks on the Khajiit. I'm sure it's probably different for other ones. Um, but I like the way it looks on the Khajiit. We can check out the chest one here. Like I said, the only one I looked at was the headpiece. So this is all going to be new. Checking this out. Dude, that right there, even with my current shoulders and my current pants and everything, that looks good to me. I don't know. Although that still looks better, so. Let's see what the shoulders look like. Nope, oh, that's not it. Wait, is it it? Yeah, it is it. Okay. Oh, they mix the silver and the gold. Okay. I just noticed that on the face when I put the shoulders on. There's a uh, feet. And... And last but not least, the waist. There you go. It doesn't look bad, I like it. I'm not sure how I feel about the gold and the silver mixing. I, I think it should be either all silver or all gold, but it doesn't look bad. To me, I like it. Um, one of the things I will say, 
Uh, if you guys are interested in... Oh, wow. It says this style is granted and is free to apply as part of owning the Skingrad Ven Vendit. I think that's how you say it. Outfit style upgrade collectible. So how do I apply it, though? I just go to outfit styles. I don't know. I'm not worried about it, though. Um, but what I was going to say is one of the things that you guys can do, which now I'm not so sure because it's free if you pre-ordered it or whatever, for the people that don't have that style, one of the things you can do is go to the new area. You can get a whole bunch of items from there and break them down. You will get the whatever the, um, the thing is, um, whatever the item is to make that style. And then you could sell those. Usually that's how a lot of people make their money. Why did Ember not come? There she is. I'm here. All right, but Let's now we will go ahead and jump over to the new area. I'll show you guys where it's at. So here's a map. I don't know what's going on with it. It looks a little bit different. I think it lets you zoom in a little bit closer now. So that's how far it lets you zoom in. I don't remember it going that far. Or maybe they just took a little jumbo out of it. I don't know. But anyway, so this is Tamriel. So if you're zoomed all the way, all the way out, obviously this is where you want to go. Tamriel and it is down over here in this area if you bought the DLC this is Westfield you should have this um, way shrine here what is this Gold Coast okay that was a previous one um, but you should have Westfield this is the new area um, this is where you will want to go it should automatically give you a way shrine to it and then when you get there in order to do the uh, the scribing and everything I think you just start following the quest line but that's what we're going to find out because I want to get some scribing done and we're going to go check it out. See if I can figure this out for you guys. I'm sure there's already videos out there of it, but we'll see what happens when we get there. And of course, this place is going to be oh, packed because it are. is a new area. Um, so if you guys care about the story, uh, news slash, I don't... Um, I'm just going to kind of push push on through this. Um, you guys can always pause it, read it, whatever you want. I will pick every option here for you guys. Rustwall Estate. Very good. We know that I think that's everything. Mora imprisoned her. Yeah. That's everything. So now we can just follow the story over here. So this is called Paths of Chaos. And because there's already a whole bunch of little side quests here. Here's one here. I just abandoned them to die. So she's not one of the people that we need to investigate. I like the way the fox looks. What is this one? Second era of scribing. This is probably what you need, guys. Okay, so it did give us the new mission, and it looks like it is outside the gate. So out there. So I'm not even going to go in. We're just going to run on the outside here. Um, also, with this character, I have been putting more points into a lot of the uh, crafting. Like I said, everything is maxed out, basically. I also put keen eye on everything, so obviously it's daytime, a little harder to see, but you can see that little glow there. Um, I put it on woodworking. I put it on everything, at least one keen eye on everything. Um, the last part that I need to do is the... Um, the provisioning? No. The enchanting, I need to increase this three more times so that I can use the green, blue, and purple and yellow with this character. Alright. It also looks like there's a way shrine over here, so we're going to go grab that real quick. Ooh, hello. Change of scenery very quickly. Grab that. Come back.
Nice little looking pig dog thing there. I don't know. Okay, it's outside, so why is it telling me to go inside? Oh, because it wants me to talk with someone, but what is this mission then? That's investigating something else. Okay, so I ran around it for nothing. So pick up the thing and just go inside, guys. My bad. Let's go in here. So this is Westwield. And it looks like somebody's already trying to steal some stuff here. What is this? Uh, seeks Adventures. No. I'm going to stick with this for now. You stopped. <laughs> Thank you, Adept. Um, I've been asked don't care. the Arch Magister asked that I not say too much in earshot don't of my care. Uh, for now. Power draws mages like moths to a flame. Don't Excellent. Care. The anomaly is in an old complex called Sunamir, beneath the Sunhold Mate. Take I'm trying one. to see if it She's says anything it. about the, the actual standard, um, No, Sunamir predates them. They fill many roles, often describing well, rumor is see don't let so just no, yeah, and the others are there. inside. Stay safe in there. Fine. Okay, now it's telling me to go back outside. Or wait. Is, okay, it's in here. Into the portal. Okay. Okay. And then ah, this good. person here. You must be all back. Thank you for coming. The guild will make this worth We'll keep okay. watch out here. Right. All these the people way, trying to learn the story. Good for them. I, I'll be honest, when I first started playing this game, I loved the storyline. It was really good, and I liked it. It was it was awesome. But after a while of just playing, it was like, mm, I really don't care anymore. Are these both the same? So that's the Atmoran Colt and the right side, same thing. Okay, so these are all just one big bookshelf. Okay, now let's check this side over here. Ah! I gotta talk to her again. Glad I didn't just run off. Come on. Weird how it's only let me read some of them, even though there's books on all of them. Okay, let's go talk with her. Now that we have a moment, allow me to introduce Magical myself. Magical anomaly. Yep. That's exactly right. Did you try to go through? I'm Not quite yet. I mean, I tried. Oh, I asked her. This portal Duh. is old map. Here we go. Okay. All right. Guess we're going through. It's happening again. Bring the Oh. At last, reawaken some latent magic in here. Look around while I get this thing under control. Watch out! You watch out. Can I attack it? No. Oh. Oh. Hello. And the balls this Spock said for Okay. An illusion? It seems distorted. Enter the portal. As as I can make it. Let's head in before another surge of magic. Going. Way ahead of you. Good to know I was right about the portal. Okay. So trigger this. Let's figure out where we are and Run away from it. All this unstable magic. Ow. Ow. I thought that was a chest. Should I trigger the one up there too, or just leave it? No problem. Make us go. Oh wait. Shortcut. Oh wait. Ah, just some jasmine shortcut. Oh. oh okay. It is letting me go. Oh no, it's not. Invisible wall. Okay. Alright. Um Don't care. I'm just gonna keep going. Where's that? The light torch. Don't care. Looks like somebody came through here, killed a frost atronach. This architecture is Elvin. We must still be near Somerset. Find the source of the unstable. Well, there it is, the source. It's a torch bug, a purple one. And a pink one. It's different colored torch bugs. All these defenses are meant to protect what? Oh, it's definitely down there. You know how tempting that is, guys?
for science. I did that on purpose, guys. You're welcome. Alright, we're good. We're good. good to know I, was right about the I thought there was water down there. I thought I was going to say I need some water. Now you know. Don't do that when you come through here. See? You're welcome. Hey, Frost Satch knocks back. Cool. Excuse me. Thank you, though. Appreciate it. Ember, stop fighting. It's not your fight back there. Although I think with this scribing thing, I think anyone can go invisible now. Or Nightblades can do extra invisibility. Dude, you look pretty cool. I want to fight you. I like the way you look. I want an outfit like that, where it has like a little ghost thing for your eyes. Get him, member. Get him. Hey, good job. Right, let's check these bookshelves again. Nothing. Okay. Well. Oh, there's bookshelves over there, too. I'm sorry, though. We're not going to mess with that. Alright, this is what we're looking for the Scalarium. I know because I'm not gonna lie I looked at a couple videos um, I didn't look at exactly what I'm supposed to do in here but I think there's gonna be a person that we do quests with it might be the person we already have with us the one that we're running with us what okay a free book okay okay so we're not even in the scalarium room yet I think it's Oh, there's a way shrine in here. Sweet. Where's this at? Uh oh. Uh oh. Where's the scalarium? Is it not even on the map? It's out here somewhere. Is it this it? Okay. Wow. Okay. So if anyone's wondering how to teleport back here, so this is Tamriel. You're gonna zoom out. You're gonna go here to Ivea. Zoom in. I'm not gonna see anything there because I don't have any things unlocked. But the Scalarium is right here. Zoom in, and there's your way shrine. Whatever is causing this, I think it's in the next room. Come on. Oops. I probably, I bet you anything, if I would wait to read this, these bookshelves, when I have the new thing, it'll probably give me XP towards it. Some of them, anyway. Maybe not, but probably. Yeah, so this is the room where you do the scribing. I know that. Oh, I think she starts giving us quests to do for all this stuff. Place? So... Before I even get into this, um, like actually doing at least the first quest and all that, uh, let me explain from my understanding. Um, so this is Scalarium. Obviously the lady that we came in here with, I don't even know what her name is. She's going to start... Wow, there's a lot of books in here. She's going to start giving us quests. And when we do the quests, um, it'll bring us down to this main hall eventually. And, well, it has to do with, like, the crystal thing that's there, and, like, these different paths will get powered up. So, if you look in front of each one of these paths, they have, like, different uh, things above them. So, that is, like, the, the elk thingy. I don't even know what those are called. Um, collections. 
Reflections, mounts. It's one of these. That's not it. No, it just reminds me of that. Uh, I don't think I have one. Yeah, I don't have one. I don't know. It's like a it's like a weird looking elk thing though. But this is what that is. I don't know what it's called. It's like, it's like a unicorn elk. I don't know. Then you have your netch, which are the floating things out there, like the squid things that are out there. You have I don't know what this one is. That door looks crazy though. It's kind of hurting my head. You have your griffin, and then you have your dragon. And each one of these has like its own set of um of the grimoires that are going to give you different skills and stuff like that. So you'll have to look at what each one's going to give you, but there's going to be quests, I think, that you can pick that will direct you to which one you want to do next. So if you pick, like, the dragon one and the one that you really wanted was a griffin, I think you'll have to finish the ones from the dragon first, and then you'll move on to the griffin. But once you have them unlocked, they're unlocked. Um, but it's also really expensive because every time you buy one, it's like 50,000 or 10,000 or 20,000 or something like that. Um, the ones that are like 50,000, you will eventually only pay 10,000 on your next character, but you will still have to re unlock it with the next character. But it is going to be a one time purchase of 50,000 for your first one. So let's this see what happens. This is incredible. You can try to close we'll the doors. Ah, Good luck. See? I'll handle things here. Shut those doors. Oh, okay. Well, she wants us to shut the doors. All right, well, we're not going to go through that door. We're just going to jump down here because that's where they want us to go. So, which door should we try first? Because I don't know if this is what's going to do it for us. Let's do the Griffin one. I honestly don't remember what they what they even do. Okay. Oh, no. Is someone there? What? Huh? Did someone just talk from behind that door? So there's people behind every one of these doors? Or is it like Daedric Gods? I think these are Daedric Princes, um, because that is what this whole storyline's about. It's like a new Daedric Prince that's coming and like starting stuff. And then... Okay, so let's go back and let's talk with her again. I need you up here now. I'm coming. Chill. We're gonna go this way this time. Is that a book? No, candle. Marshal books. Okay, I'm back. Oh, dang. Talk to the crow. You okay, lady? That wasn't the best idea the I've crow? ever had. Meddlers, thieves, what have you done to my altar? Oh, hi, crow. We were just Is trying to calm altar? things down. We're in oblivion, are you? This is a fine way to wake after centuries of restless slumber. Did she send you? You're not at all what I was promised. It wasn't enough to break in. You had to smash the altar, too. You may call me the Crow. This is the Scalarium, and... <sighs> I see now. She didn't send you. If she had, your knight wouldn't have smashed the altar's focusing crystal. She who? I suppose, if you meant true harm, you could have done much worse. We'll need a new crystal to act as a focus for the altar. Procure one, and... <clears throat> pin feathers. I suppose it's the only way. We'll have to try. This altar focuses power to shape the very heart of magic itself. If we're going to get things under control, I'll need to talk you through the rite of scribing. But first things first, there should be an old focus or two in the East Wing. Hurry. Okay. Yeah, so the East Wing should this is like the tutorial part of somewhere. describing. Don't let the Scalarium's defenses stand in your way. Hurry now. <laughs> We'll have all the time in the world to talk after the magic here is quelled. 
If the altar isn't stabilized, our conversation options will be very limited. Because we will be dead. I'll hang back. That blast. Wonder what happens if you just never repair the altar. I bet they don't kill you. I bet they're lying. Alright, so East Wing says to go here. Someone's trying to buy an Arcanist for 500,000? I don't understand. Yeah, I thought I was just out there now I can back up. There's one of them. I'm just gonna spam this for a bit. That easy game. That was a joke. Oh, is that a new recipe or is that just one that I just didn't have? No, oh, it's not new. Okay, what's in the crate? Forgotten crystals. Got one. Coming. That was easy. You got crystals laying around. You worried about a crystal that I broke. Or that she broke. Yes, good. Bring the crystal to the altar. Okay. Place it in the empty locus. Okay. If now we are what? In magic, we must focus it into a new creation. Place your hands on the altar. Okay. Should be four of them, I think. Yeah. Okay. This is the scribing altar. Make this grimoire. Select your grimoire to begin. Each grimoire represents a unique skill associated with an existing skill line. Got it. Okay, so world is your first one, and it's wield so soul. Customize your grimoire by adding one script of each type. You have a focus script, which defines the function of your skill line, signature, which gives it a unique effect, and the affix scripts add a final benefit of your choosing. Once all scripts are once all script slots are filled. Press square to craft or press hold square. I don't know why they did it that way, but um, uh, to clear the selections. Okay. Okay, and we just have one of each anyway, so it's not going to matter. So it looks like this one's going to deal magic, 5,000 magic roughly, uh, to an enemy, beneficial signature, and okay. So boom, 5,000 magic damage. This one's also going to deal magic. Uh, over time, so that's going to turn it into roughly 9,000, but it's 5,000 directly and then 4,000 over time. And then the last one here is it afflicts the enemy with major breach for 10 seconds, reducing their physical and spell resistance by another 5,000. Okay, so well, 6,000 for that one. Okay, and then what? And then we hit square to scribe. What's that little icon at the bottom though? They didn't talk about that. Okay. Luminous Ink, I guess that's what it's called. Calm. Luminous Ink is required to complete an act of well scribing. Done. You will Let's be charged ink equal to the number of new scribes added, or scripts added. Uh, you can acquire ink, grimoires, and scripts through numerous methods in the world. Keep an eye out. Keep an eye open for hints as you continue to explore the Scalarium. Okay. Would you like to go to the skill menu to assign your newly script skill? Sure, scribe skill. Um, why is it showing the consuming trap one here? I don't. I don't understand why it's showing it. Because that's just a soul magic thing there. But now it's putting this under there too? I don't know. Um, passives allows you to revive once every two hours without spending a soul gem. Didn't that used to be in the game before? I could have swore that that was a thing a long, long time ago. When your health drops below 20%, your soul explodes, dealing magic damage within 8 meters. Yep, I think that was a thing before, too, called Soul Shatter. And then Soul Lock, killing an enemy, has a 5% chance automatically. Okay, so these are all normal passives that are already in the game, aren't they? Oh, 
Oh, it's under my soul magic. So... Okay. I'm an idiot. Okay, so those passives are just ones that I just haven't unlocked yet because I haven't done the storyline thing. But it put it under soul magic, I guess, because it's a magic thing? I don't know. Um, I don't use the mark target too much, so we'll put it there for now. Alright, so it's just going to do roughly 9,000 damage, and then it's going to make them easier to kill. Got it. Okay, now what? It's done. The altar is quiet, and for the first time in centuries, scribing has returned to Tamriel. It's clear Ulfsil did not send you, but I believe she would be quite proud of you just the same. Archmage Ulfsild the Evergreen? Warrior Witch of Kynes Aegis? Clever Woman of the Druidoc? The Pale's Priestess of Juno. She created the Scalarium and perfected the art of scribing. Like a ray of sunlight from Magnus himself. Yes, scribing is an art developed by Archmage Ulfsild in collaboration with powerful beings. Spirits, if you like. They are called the Luminaries of Magic. And you, adventurer, are going to seek them out. Okay, I think that's the stuff that the statues that are up in the background, the luminaries. So the Netch, the Griffin, the Dragon, all that stuff. To inherit Ulfsild's legacy, to make your mark on Spellcraft itself, the luminaries wait beyond these beautiful sealed doors. If you're willing, I will guide you on the path of scribing. I will take you under my wing. There is a world of magic beyond your mortal ken, adventurer. With the luminaries at your side, there is nothing you cannot accomplish. Speak to There is much to be done, but it will be good to flex my feathers again. Okay, so the rest of the quest seems like we do with her. I've been a knight in the Order for years, Traveler, and I've never heard of anything like this. A lost art of shaping magic, an ancient library, and these luminaries. This is incredible. Hopefully you'll learn exactly what a luminary is while you're at it. I'm lucky you were here, Traveler. My magic is so specialized. With that altar, who knows what else you'll learn to do? What sort of spells and skills you'll create? Well, me? I need to report in. Tell the head of my order what's happened and get guidance from the Archmagister. If you're asking my advice, why not stay here? Talk more with the Crow and see if you can start to walk this path she mentioned. Okay, so I don't do quests with you. A patrol to last a lifetime. I brought you in to help with an unstable portal and Soul look at everything we've done. Portal. Explored an ancient library, met a talking crow, and apparently revived an ancient form of magic. Can't wait to see what happens next. I have no idea how I'm going to explain this to the head of my order. This will be a long and entertaining conversation. In the meantime, you have a feathered scholar to speak with. You passed some of my trusted associates when we entered Zunimir. I want them tasked to investigate and catalog what we find. In the meantime, you're our resident expert on scribing. You need to learn everything you can. You couldn't be more right. What are the no, cool. I'm cool. a touch nervous to bring this. So... Yeah, I noticed this too. There's uh, s skill styles. So instead of it like glowing white when you do the soul trap thing, now you can make it look this color, which is purple. Um, I noticed it on when I was looking at the skills, like when I first logged in. So if you come to skills. And uh, let's go to our normal thing here. So, well, actually, I think I noticed it under here. Yeah, restoration. So this is what the icon looks like, um, and if you look at the bottom there, you can see it says change style, you hold square. If you hold square, it brings up this one, which is just a lilac purple one. So obviously I don't have it unlocked, but I think what it does is when you throw this down, kind of how it glows like a yellowish, goldish color like that, I think it'll just glow purple. Like it'll, It's the same thing, I think it'll just glow purple, like it's literally just for different 
looking effects, I think. And that's it. Okay, so the crow landed down there. It looks like he's in front of the whatever that thing is. Uh, Idris or Idric. I don't remember what they're called. Idris Elba. I'm glad Got you've it. chosen to stay in Teloper. The path to master scribing is not an easy one, but its rewards are innumerable. Your knight appears to be leaving. Did I ruffle her feathers with my call? A guild of mages? Fascinating, but a topic for another conversation. Let's stay focused. Ulfsild prepared for the day that someone would follow in her footsteps. She left behind resources, notes, and information for her eventual inheritor. Okay. What I want is immaterial. The luminaries will dictate your future as a scriber of grimoires, an editor of spells. That said, I am Ulfsild's familiar. I can guide your early steps. Get you flying in the right direction. Where you perch is up to you. Ulfsild left a number of echoes, instructional illusions, scattered throughout the library. Their aim is to guide you through the process of contacting the luminaries, making allies of them once again. There's one just behind you. See for yourself. The echo at the base of the altar is just one of many. Much of the Scalarium's knowledge has been lost to time. But if Magnus wills it, Ulfsild's preparations should be enough to see us through. Fly back to me when you have followed Ulfsild's instructions. Echo of introduction. If you are seeing this, the Kroll has set you on the path to learn the art of scribing. A world of magic awaits you. I've left behind another sort of guide. The true sight lens. Seek it out against the East Wing. The, the what wing? The fables are to seek the luminaries. And they will teach you far more than I ever could. I'm assuming she said the East Wing. Or West Wing. I thought this was East, but okay. I mean, the big W on the compass there. I guess tells me it's West. Um. Oh, maybe she did say the East Wing. Yeah, okay. It just had me go through that door because it was closer, I guess. Alright, so here's a true sight lens. What does this do? I made this lens so you might see the world as I do. It's a very warp and weft of magic laid out before me. A look through the lens will allow you to see impressions left behind by the luminaries. Follow these signposts, and you will find their domains. Okay, how do I do it, though? Like, how do I use the lens? I'm assuming the bird's gonna tell us? Good. You found the lens. It will be your most important tool in tracing a path to the luminaries. Merely holding the lens will attune you to the flow of magic. You will begin to see focal points, impressions left behind by these mystical beings. It's quite simple. Stand in one and peer through the lens. Hidden magics in many forms will be revealed to you. Doors, glyphs, even secrets layered within tomes. But here, enough talk. Let's begin. Gather your feathers about you. Nearby, you will see a focal point and the fable of the Indric. Read the book, then step into the focal point. Peer through the lens, and you'll see the tome in an all-new light. Okay, so it's called an Indric. Ulfsild's secrets are all around us. You need only know where to look. Read the fable of the Indric, then use the lens and re-examine the tome. You'll see what I mean. I'm so confused. Okay, so I guess this here. Yep, Fable of the Indric. So do these ones have fables too then? Are they just not out yet? Or do I have to find them or something? Okay, so Fable of the Indric. I'm not actually going to read that. Now enter the focal point and peer through the lens. Focal you will point? see what was unseen in the fable. 
peer through the lens, so I'm assuming Adler is here. Maybe not. What? Oh, I gotta read it again after looking through it. Oh, there's more stuff in here. That's kind of cool. Too bad I'm not a book person. They're gonna make You've me read. Seen the hidden annotations, then, and you know where you are going. Yeah. See, we're going to Aldrian. See, I knew you it. Should be able to follow those annotations in sequence, leading you from location to location. Just like the hunter in the fable, you seek the Indric now. Let Ulfsild be your guide. Okay. As this is your first time, I will accompany you into the field. Not everything you need to know is on the page. I will teach you how to break the luminary wards and retrieve key fragments to enter the Indrix domain. Okay. I'll meet you at the Lady Standing Stone in Oridon. How nice it'll be to really stretch my wings again. Alright, we're not going through all those little things. Okay, so let's go to Oridon then. And the good thing is that they have that way shrine here, so I don't have to like go all the way back out. I can just go, oh wait. What are, oh, these are just portals to go back. Oh. Or it could just do this. I wonder if this one is always going to be where I need to go. Or if it's always Oridon. Whatever. We're taking it though, because it says it's portal to Oridon, so whatever. I probably it probably changes with whatever one you're doing to make it easier for you to find it or do it or whatever. Okay, so now that we're here, it looks like there's a waypoint this way. Right there. Yep, that's where we meet the crow. Okay. All right, so let's mount up. Mount up. And ride like the wind. Oh, sky shards. Wait, where are we? Have I not done Ordon yet? I haven't because it wasn't one of the... Okay. So I did all of the... Just real quick, I did all of the... Um, the zones that are normal zones. So like the Daggerfall Covenant, which is uh, Riven Spire, Stormhaven, and Glen Umbra. I think that's it. Because I didn't do Rothgar. Oh, wait, I did a little bit of Rothgar, but not all of it. Um, did I do Bankrai, maybe? I did not. And then I did not do Alakir Desert. Okay, yeah, so I didn't do those zones, but I did, um, I did the three that I mentioned. I did all the ones over here, so I did East March, The Rift, Stone Falls, uh, Deshaun, and Shadowfen. And then I did Grotwood, Reaper's March, Mal, what is this? Mal Malabal, Tor, and Green Shade for the Sky Shards. In case anyone's wondering, that's how I have most of my skills that I have. But we're not gonna mess with that now. We're gonna go and do this quest. Can we just like jump over the wall somewhere here? Probably not. Yeah, we're gonna have to go through the gate. Can that guy just say IRL? IRL? I mean... Okay, I like like that. Just say in real life, dude. Sorry, I'm getting picky. You're not a girl in IRL, are you? I don't know what he said. That's what it made me think of, because I think he was talking to a girl. Okay, so obviously there's other people here doing the quest too. Talk to the crow. Where's the crow? Oh. Ah, what a flight! I almost didn't want to land, but to business. The luminaries are beings of great power. Each has a domain they have shaped to their choosing. Each domain has a door, and each door, of course, has a key. Okay. As I said in the library, 
Let the Fable be your guide. We are here at the Lady, the first annotated location in the Fable. Just as you did back at the Scalarium, peer through the True Sight lens within a focal point. Okay. Magic wards left behind by the Indric. A trio of these wards hide a fragment of his key. Once revealed, these wards can be dispelled from a distance. Clear them all, and the key fragment will be revealed. Okay. Don't if the luminaries share one trait, it's a love of a challenge overcome. Yes, you'll need to gather three key fragments to open the Indrix door. Let's begin. And remember, if you so, lose your sight, three focal points, focal points for one fragment, but I need three fragments to open the door. The if I got that right. Reveal. Okay, so peer through here. The lens how the luminaries see it. Now, find the wards. Okay, but what do I do with them? What do I do with the wards? Oh, just spell it. Find okay. two more wards to reveal the fragment. Do I have to go back to that one? No. There was one right there. Yeah. Okay, so each one disappears as you dispel it. I got it. And then the last one's gonna be up there. But I need to do the last focal point. Isn't it here somewhere? Is it gonna make me do the same one again? That's dumb. I could have swore there was one where all those people were standing. Boom, there we go. Here's the fragment. The first key fragment is yours. Well done. Talk to the pro. You've taken to this well. Your early steps to master scribing. But from here, I must take my leave. Return to the Scalarium. Wolfsil, just as you did here, use the fable to find your way. He will likely ask you to prove yourself worthy of his power. I have a good feeling about you. Just remember, you can always reference the fable of the Indric from your bag. Wolfsild's annotations will guide you on your journey. So why is that one marked there? The inside of a delve or something? Reference a fable in your pack. No, because it's telling me where to go on the map, so I'm just going to do that. Because it's easier. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. You know, I'm sure it's a great story and everything, and I thank the devs for creating it and putting the time and stuff into it. But I'm on a mission here, guys. Like, I play a lot of games. Like, I ain't got time for this. One of the things that I don't like that they do in games, and that's almost every single game out there, I get why they do it, but I don't like it, is they they make it to where they require you to do things that are going to take longer in the game because they want you to play their game over other games. And I think that that should be something that's taken out of um, out of games. Like, if I want to play the game, I'm going to play it. If I don't want to play it, I'm not going to play it. It doesn't matter what's going on. Like, right now, um, Helldivers 2, I haven't played it in a while. I guess they have a thing going on where you can either save the children or you can get a new, uh, uh, what's it called? A new stratagem or something? Like, you either save children or you unlock a new stratagem for, like, Excellent. everyone doing the stuff. And Seek I don't care. Friend. I'm still not playing it. Walk the path not interested in it right now. I have no problem with the game. It's a great game. I just don't feel like playing it right now. Got that one. that they put these in delves that means it's just going to get harder and harder in the future. On here. Now where is the 
third one. Back up there. Okay. Where is the third thing, though? Oh, right there. Boom. Got it. So that is the second fragment. Thank you. Okay, now we need to go and find the third weight, which shall be out this way. Um, I will say this too, one of the, uh, I think I mentioned it in another video, but it, I was also talking to someone else about it, so if I did mention it, I do apologize because I'm going to mention it again, um, but I honestly can't remember because I'm thinking that it might have just been talking to the other guy about it. Um, one of the things with this game and with all MMOs that I've noticed that is becoming an issue um, is getting new people to play the game and stick around. Like MMOs are, like the ones that are dying isn't always because of the gameplay, it's not always because of, um, of them not liking it or anything. A lot of times it has to do with the players, the current players. So, I was in a group the other day on this game, and I was in a dungeon that I've never ran before. Never ran before. I had no idea what I was doing in there, I was trying to ask some questions, and everyone's like, oh, it doesn't matter, just run through the thing. They ended up kicking me out of the group, because I was just trying to figure out what was going on. They were, like, very rude, things like that. Like, I don't care. Like, it didn't bother me too much, but... It made me start thinking, you know, like that's that's going to be the downfall of this and every other MMO is because people who already know the game and they're already like doing what they want in the game, they're playing how they want, that's fine. I have no issue with that. You know, you don't want to teach new people, whatever. But being a douche, that's going to be the downfall of a game that you're currently enjoying because, I mean, obviously they're enjoying it or they wouldn't be playing it. But, um, you know, you're currently enjoying this game and in the future... They're going to be like, oh, I don't know what happened. Like, people just stopped playing it. It's because of that. If if I was a new, new player, like completely new, and I knew nothing at all about the game, that would literally want me not to, like, it, it would stop me from playing the game. It would deter me from playing this game because I would not be having fun. I'm trying to learn the game. I'm trying to make friends, things like that. And you have people that are just being extremely rude, telling me, oh, don't worry about it. Like... It, it doesn't make sense when you're when you're a new person in a new game um, people should be willing to help you they should be willing to do things for you I, I'm not saying you know give freebies and stuff like that but literally if all I'm asking is how to do something in the game I mean give me a tip at least point me in the right direction you don't have to like sit there and explain everything in detail or anything but it, it was just it was very um, shocking to see that that's how the people were. It really was. I had no idea that, uh, that a lot of people were like this. Um, me, on the other hand, like, I, I don't mind. I will help people out. I, there was a new guy that joined the guild, which I still haven't really went over guilds. Um, I'll give you a brief thing of the guilds. You can join up to five guilds. You can join up to five guilds, as you can see here. Not there. Here. So I'm in four guilds right now. This one really doesn't matter. Um, it is my guild, but I don't have enough people to even have a guild bank for it, so I may end up just getting rid of it. Um, but joining guilds is like how you can do guild trading and all that stuff. I mean, you don't have to be in a guild to do guild trading, but, well, to buy stuff from guild traders, but if you want to sell stuff, you do. Um, but that's like a whole other thing. But anyway, you can be in up to five guilds. There was a guy that joined one of those guilds uh, the other day. I think it was yesterday, maybe the day before, I don't know. Uh, I work nights, so my days are all mixed up. But anyway, um, he was asking for some gear and everything, and I helped him out. I gave him gear. I, In fact, I made purple gear for him. I have no issue doing that with people. Like I, I have enough um, materials and everything to make that kind of stuff for people. But at the same time, like I'm also not going to give it to just like anybody. I'm not just going to... Like, if there's, um, you know, someone who's being rude to me and stuff like that, and be like, hey, make me this thing now, or whatever. Like, no, like, like this guy was genuine, he was just asking for help, 
And I was like, yeah, sure. Plus, he's part of the guild, you know. And believe it or not, I mean, the guy's not new. He gave me some tips on playing the game. And I was like, oh, yeah, I didn't know that. Thank you for that, you know. And, um... Um, but with that, like, that's that's how I think MMOs should be. I'm not saying that you have to go and make stuff for people. You have to give them your your hard-earned loot or your hard-earned gold or anything like that. But just be courteous. For the love of God, just be courteous. Like, there's no need to treat people like crap, especially if you want the MMO that you already like to keep going. Then, you know, treat the newer people with with a little bit of courtesy because the newer people are the ones that are going to keep your game going. If you don't have those new people playing the game, it's not going to last. Oh god. Oh wow, that actually didn't kill me. I thought it was going to hurt a lot. I'm going to get up in there. Is it to the left or to the right? Let's try the dock over here. You've flown through. The Luminary Indrix door is close. Find the path to the top and take the next step on your journey. Hey, you found the injured door, or at least the thing that it wants me to go to. Found it. Wing of the Indrik. Yeah, so that's the Indrik. It's like a elk unicorn looking thing. Okay. That. Oh, please don't tell me I have it to fight you. It has been many long years since a mortal entered oh. my domain. And now here you are. Yep. Following in Ulfsild's footsteps. Dude, you look cool as hell. Welcome to my domain, adventurer. Bearer of Dude, my fable. I will bow too. You're pretty awesome looking. I sense the power of the Scalarium within you. Your ink-stained hands have touched the altar's magic. I sensed too when Ulfsild's essence faded from this realm. After all these years, do you hope to be her inheritor? Maybe? I sense potential. You hunger for power, much as Ulfsil did when she sought me out all those years ago. I will ask you the same question I asked her. Do you deserve this power? The power to edit grimoires, to rewrite magic? Probably not. An honest answer, and wise. I offer the power to maim or mend, to blast with flame or freeze with ice. Such a gift is not taken lightly. But first, my door must open once again. Place the fable you carry with you upon the dais. Okay. A story is never just a story. It has the power to change from within and without. The fable of the Indric acts as a symbolic connection. A commitment from me to you. Place the book and open the path. Alright. So I guess I leave. But is there anything else in here? be cool if like there was like some chests or some random like hidden items and stuff in here looks like it's empty though I mean it's fine it's a really cool setting I wonder if it's like this for all of them or like it's like nature like this one because it's an Indrik and like the one with the dragons gonna be like a volcano or oh I do it right here I thought I had to go out and do it what's that nothing okay Okay, so put this here. It's good to taste the ink of the Scalarium upon oh, the air again. Tasting it? Power can mean many things. Its meaning may change with each new day, each turn of the season. Wolfsild learned this hard lesson when the Scalarium slipped away. If I am to teach you as I taught her, 
I must learn what power means to you. Okay. A scroll nearby details a series of challenges. Expressions of power, both subtle and not. Choose two to complete, that I might know what power means to you. Okay. You do not know me yet, but I am no taskmaster. Power expressed against one's will is no power at all. Attempt only the challenges that appeal to you. When you are done, return, and we will take your next step together. Rest easy. I would not set you to task without cause. There is method to my mindset. In the meantime, you have many questions. Mortals always do. Okay, so... You're gonna give me a list of challenges. And I pick two of them. The anchor of the vile Daedric creations fall from the skies, scourge their presence from the land known as Aldrion. Uh, so that one's of the anchor vile. So I'm assuming that's attacking an anchor and then challenge of teamwork with fellow heroes by your side face off against other champions seeking glory. That one sounds PvP oriented. But with teamwork, so maybe Cyrodiil and... The Imperial City? Or, I guess it could even be, um, the Battlegrounds. Uh, challenge of Strength, being superior strength, await your challenge in the Delves of Aldrin. Okay, so that one's with the Delves. Challenge of Cleansing, the Unliving, Rise and Sully, the Period. Okay, so... Complete two of them. So, I can destroy an Anchor, or I can... Participate, yeah, so destroy an anchor, participate in a battlefield, slay an undead in Aldrin, or the Delves. So I probably want to do, because I, I want to eventually move my character towards PvP, so I'm probably going to do a battlefield. Um, but we're going to stop for now, guys. Oh, I thought that this place is just my own. I was in here this whole time by myself, and now all of a sudden I see a whole bunch of people. Um, so I'll probably do a battleground, and then I don't know which which other one from there. Um, maybe a Dell boss. I'll have to look at it again. Which I, I, whichever one did the strength thing is probably how I'll go, or which one I'll pick. I don't know. But that's gonna be it for this one, guys. That is how you get started on the. Uh, on the scribing, um, so make sure you guys come here, make sure you guys do that first quest, and then choose wisely, I guess. Um, but good luck to everybody. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, put it down in the comment section. Thank you all for joining me today, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.